the last bite segment, I talked about consecrated time and what that does for an individual. But if you remember, the vision that I had was of a whole city that's going, a whole city that's set apart in order to seek God, okay? So first I want to just establish this is something that God wants to see happen. It's something that he wants to see. In fact, when Jesus was on the earth, he was doing miracles, and he said about the cities where he'd done the most miracles, woe to you, Nineveh repented in sackcloth and ashes. They, they mourned. They responded to Jonah. But you guys, I came and did all these signs, and there was no heart-level response from you as a city. He said it's going to be more bearable for Sodom and Gomorrah than you. So what Jesus was looking for, the kind of response he wanted to get from that city, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. And he pointed to the city of Nineveh to say, hey, this is the kind of response I wanted. So how did the city of Nineveh respond? Well, they consecrated time. They set apart time. The king called all of the people to mourn, to repent, to seek God. Obviously, we've offended God. Can we come into a place of repentance so that maybe God will have mercy on us? And that's exactly what we want to see happen during the 10 days, to see all the believers and even all of a city come into a place of, we need God. He's the only answer for what we're facing right now. So there's a negative sense in which we need to repent or else we'll be held accountable. But I'm, I'm actually way more interested in the positive sense of if we do this, if we seek God in this way together, God is going to come. His presence is going to flood into our city and we're going to see massive transformation. Think about those things that were true about the individual soul, okay? Now, now take it from that soul and apply it to the city. That's exactly how God is going to move. He's going to change the soul, the character, the nature of an entire city by his presence. John 17, says, I'm giving them, my, my people, the glory that I had with the Father before the foundation of the world so that they may be one. And so as we position ourselves in a posture of humility together, Jesus is going to release his glory, his presence, his power in our midst. He's going to heal the things that are keeping us separated and divided. He's going to heal us individually, and he's going to heal us corporately. And that's the kind of thing that God wants to see through the 10 days. An entire city, just like Nineveh did, falling to its knees, saying, God, you're our only hope. Would you meet us here? And we know from God's character, when a city responds in that way, God is going to respond with abundantly above and beyond what we can ask, think, or imagine.